Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I've got something that's buzzing in the horror community, a new The Fly movie. But hold on a second, it's not directed by the master himself, David Cronenberg. Instead, we have rising talent, Nikiatu Jusu at the helm. Now, before you roll your eyes, let's talk about what this means. The Fly from 1986 is a critically acclaimed masterpiece that melds body horror with human emotion, and Cronenberg's style, unmatched. But can Jusu, known for little more than 2022's average supernatural horror nanny, amongst other smaller projects, really capture that same essence? Taking on a horror classic such as The Fly, remake or not, will be no simple task. A landmark in both science fiction and horror cinema, Cronenberg's The Fly follows scientist Seth Brundle, played by Jeff Goldblum. His experiments with teleportation take a terrifying turn when his DNA is accidentally fused with a fly. His transformation is both physical and psychological, a deterioration that blurs humanity and monstrosity, pushing boundaries of on-screen horror with a level of realism enhanced by Chris Wallace's groundbreaking practical effects which garnered an Academy Award for Best Makeup. For Cronenberg, the commercial success solidified his reputation beyond cult status, building on the buzz around titles like Scanners and Videodrome, and proving that his brand of body horror could appeal to mainstream audiences. Cronenberg's The Fly expertly combined themes of obsession, identity, and the grotesque transformation into a creature. Can Jusu manage to bring her own voice while honoring what made the original so iconic? One thing I'm particularly skeptical about is how Jusu will balance homage with innovation. Body horror isn't just about the physical transformations, it's about the emotional and psychological deterioration of the characters. Will Jusu punch us in the gut with her unique take, or will it fall flat against the heavy legacy of the original film? So far, we have more questions than answers. I'm curious to see what narrative direction Jusu will take with this franchise. Will she focus on the moral implications of scientific experimentation, much like the original did? Or will she dare to weave social commentary into the fabric of the film itself, creating a multifaceted narrative? While the film's plot is under wraps, sources stressed that it's set in the universe of Cronenberg's film, rather than a straightforward remake. Additionally, Juicy will be working under the banner of Monkey Paw Productions, founded by Jordan Peele in 2012. In 2021, we got Candyman, a very good sequel set in the Candyman universe. Will this The Fly movie go down a similar path? Could we possibly see the return of Gina Davis as Veronica decades after the events of the original? Once again, I reiterate, I'm skeptical, but I'm also intrigued. Juicy might surprise us, or she might alienate a fanbase that fiercely loves Cronenberg's interpretation. So, what do you think? Are you excited or as skeptical about this new The Fly movie as I am? Let me know in the comments, I'll speak to you again on the next edition of The Rapture Report.